Welcome back to The Road Ahead with AJ. Uh, thank you so much to my new subscribers also and thank you very much for the great response on my previous video. If you like to work on your bikes and like to do uh, basic maintenance, then you've come to the right place. Now, before we move on, here's a message from our sponsors up above. Hello viewer log. वो नीचे में जो लाल रंग का बटन है ना जिस पे सब्सक्राइब लिखेला है उसको दबाने का साथ साथ नोटिफिकेशन का घंटा भी चूहा रख के प्रेस करने का और वीडियो अगर अच्छा लगा तो लाइक करने का कमेंट करने का और अपने दोस्तों के साथ शेयर करने का वरना और हीरो त्यौहार है वो लाल वाला टोपी पहनना क्या कर रहा है चल वीडियो शुरू कर this is my second video in the KTM series. It's about the race dynamics flash X hazard module. Now this is a product I've been waiting for for a very long time ever since I saw these guys advertise it. Uh, now the flash X module itself costs uh, 2000 rupees. You can either buy it at a store or you can buy it on Amazon. It's, it's a device that allows your bike to have the hazard flashers, which means all the blinkers uh, lighting up at the same time. This is useful when uh, you're riding in fog or you're riding in heavy rain when visibility is low. Now, the reason I went with the, the Flash X was that it's a purely plug and play module. You don't have to cut or splice any wires, which is a good thing because uh, KTM will void your warranty the moment you start uh, messing around with the wiring so the product itself comes with the, the module itself and a wiring harness so you just have to disconnect certain plugs on the bike and connect them to this module now there were other options available in the market as well which were starting at thousand to thousand five hundred rupees <coughs> however i chose to go with race dynamics because i have been following them for a very long time and apart from making the Flash X, they do some real cutting edge work with uh, engine management systems and piggyback ECUs. So if you're ever in the market for improving the performance of your car or your bike, do check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. So let's get on to the process for uh, fixing it onto the KTM 390 Adventure. Step one, remove these two screws to um, remove the locking mechanism so that you get access to Keep the screws carefully because you'll need them again Now to make things simpler. Let's just first look at the harness provided with the flash X now you have one set of plugs with black and yellow one set of plugs with black and green and one set with multicolors so start with either of the simple colors the, the singular colors the yellow or the green all right so what i've done is i've uh, removed the zip ties that were holding these wires against the frame there so you have more access to them now uh, for the next part it's important that you need to figure out where to keep the flash x module so there isn't enough space here uh, so what i'm going to do is route the wires through here there's an extra space here route the wires through here the harness and keep the flash x here because it's anyway a waterproof module step two let's start with the simplest one uh, the plugs from the harness having the green wire they go to the wire on the bike having the green plugs all right so connect the male from the bike to the female on the green uh, wire harness and similarly the male from the harness to the 
female on the bike's wiring. Okay, that's done. Next, let's proceed with the yellow. All right, this is our multicolored one. Let's find the one with the yellow colors. It's gonna be, yes, that's the one. Oh, my bad. It's this one. Okay, so here's where you could get a little confused, but you will see that uh, the yellow plugs on the flash x harness do not match these empty accessory plugs so it's got to be the other one so let's disconnect those oh there's just too many wires there you go so let's take the yellow uh, put the male to the female and the female to the male now if you're really a novice there's only one way these plugs will go so just match the contours on the male to the one on the female there's no need to get confused we're done that's done and we're left with last these two okay so here's where i made a little bit of a boo-boo it's not the accessory plugs that you need to fix it in. It's this one that says ADR. So you just pull that out. There we go. And same logic. The, the male from the wiring, bike wiring goes to the female on the harness of the flash X. And the female from the... Uh, bike takes the mail from the flash x all right so our wiring is done it's ready before i put everything back i'm just going to connect the flash x and uh, switch the key on just to make sure there are no errors and everything has been connected correctly all right now if you're a novice at this the harness main plug has a a locking mechanism here you should just match it to that anyway the flash x will not go in the reverse way if you try so just connect that that's it so the plugs are connected the flash x is connected moment of truth all right let's see how this goes I think you must have seen that uh, the indicator flashed once, so there are no errors, which is great. All right, time to take the flash X for a spin. Now what do the instructions say? To activate the flash X, toggle right, left, right and off. Okay, let's do this. Right, left, right, off. And let's go have a look that looks really nice wow wow damn that looks really good now let's figure out changing the patterns a bit i want something a little more visible and maybe flashy all right let's check out some patterns on this so let's switch it on again first right left right off and you see it will show you that it's blinking fast, which means the hazard flash is on. So, to change the blinking pattern, toggle left and turn off. Left off. Let's go and see. That's not bad. Yeah, this is nice. I like this one because it's actually both lights are flashing at the same time. So... Let's see, to save and deactivate, toggle right and turn off. Let's do that. Right off. That's gone off. Okay, so there wasn't really any need to put uh, zip ties back. Uh, to really zip tie to the frame, I would have to open up the fairing, which I really don't want to do. Before I put the 
the screws back the only thing you should check is when you open uh, the use use the key to open this box this thing is the spring is going to move so just make sure there are no wires obstructing because it might just cut the wires check this out you see that so just make sure there are no wires near that uh there you go well that was really simple i mean if you worked on an old royal enfield fitting auxiliary lights you know that the moment you switch on the key you're just praying that uh no wire has shorted and you don't blow a fuse by the way i did notice that i got a lot of viewers from outside india and if you are from outside india and you own a ktm 390 adventure you can go to race dynamics website and order the flashex from there and they will ship internationally i know this because i spoke to them and i've also seen reviews of uh people who actually bought the the piggyback ecus from them in the us they've installed them and have got great customer service at any time of the day now in my books that brings some real credibility to a company so don't hesitate go for it immediately by the way if you have any question any doubts about uh, how to fit it onto the 390 adventure please leave a comment below and i'll respond and well it's the festival season so here's wishing you all a merry christmas joyeux noël and feliz navidad stay tuned for more content on the road ahead with aj and uh, until then dream on ride on and helmet always on.